Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Danae, and I'm here with just a quick hello from the Jersey Shore. I'm out here with my little alien. <laughs> my little scorpion child that likes to uh, crash against the waves, not with the waves in true scorpion form, right? But I just wanted to, um, I don't know, my son was just like, you should record a video for your channel. And I really didn't have any intentions to do that. Today was about just enjoying this last run for the summer um, because it's pretty much the last good day that we're having here where I am before fall officially turns over, or at least until it's just way too cold to be at the beach. It's, it, it borderline was for me today, but of course when you get in the water, your body starts to temper to the, the uh, frigidness more and more and more as, as you stay in there. So yeah, I'm just checking in, tapping in. Um, I don't know, like I feel like it's the perfect opportunity that I've taken today to cleanse the energy from the summer. It's been a very intense season for me. I was calling in all types of fun and adventure and excitement. And I got that in a different form. Maybe not, not all of the fun that I was anticipating, but I got a lot of adventure by way of um, my own personal spiritual self-discovery. Um, experiencing myself in ways that I never imagined to observe, you know, literally almost like having like an outer body experience at some points in time. And it wasn't really what I asked for, but I guess it was everything that I needed um, because I've never felt stronger than I do in this moment. And this has been like the perfect day to just kind of like release those intensities to uh, wash away the season to ground in this sand which is so soothing and satisfying and of course to be energized by this solar energy so I'm grateful for it all and I feel again empowered to push forward for the fall season and even more of uh, of a strong way than I was before I got here I'll say that much so I hope that you know you may not have found your way to a beach or anything today or maybe you live somewhere where it's always sunny it's always warm it's always beach worthy and that's good for you like that's amazing for you <laughs> but for us here on the east coast particularly the northeast you gotta just kind of soak up these rays and soak up these days watching my son not drown himself um, whenever you can and this is the day when you kind of take this little pocket of sunshine and reserve it for another day fall and winter when things might not be so sunny although for me personally I'm anticipating carrying this energy it's like it's weird because although it's kind of a release and a point of closure for me there's something also that about it that feels like it's almost like the season opener you know like when you first go to the beach the top of the year and it's like the kickoff of the season and it's exciting and it's like woo, you know like you know you're looking forward to good times ahead something about it feels like that for me I can't speak for anybody else um, I certainly can't project that to you because maybe you feel like girl summer is over but it's something about maybe the fun and excitement and adventure that I thought I was calling in you know maybe I manifested it for the top of this season but it's coming in right on time you know like I've, I've even said that for me part of me like post summer sometimes it's even better to get out and enjoy yourself because you don't have to fight the crowds you don't have to fight the high rates. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's the lifeguard. You don't have to fight the high rates. You don't have to fight, you know, 
calling somebody in closer. Um, they said they didn't have any drownings this season, so that's a good thing. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, anyway, sometimes after summer is the best time to really explore and, and have fun and things of that nature. You want to that? Okay. So we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Um, so yeah, anyway, the, the point of the matter is, is that sometimes what's in our plans and what seems ideal, you know, and consider the summer, at least in this part of the country for us, because I realize that summer and, and the seasons are not the same for everybody. But the summer for us is like prime time to get out and enjoy yourself. But that's also the time when almost everybody is doing it. So there's something about this season being um, the season ahead being uh, a bit, maybe even the life ahead, being a bit exclusive in the rewards and the, um, the experiences of bliss and enjoyment that are still on the menu, that are still, you know, in the queue to happen just in a different time, um, in a different season perhaps, and, perhaps and, and also when there's less competition or less of a crowd, you know, to have that, that actual experience. I think, I hope I know, I hope you think, I hope you understand what I'm saying on that as I'm saying it. I don't, I don't feel like I'm articulating it the best, but what I'm just, what I'm trying to say is that some, like for having it when everybody else was having it, meaning, you know, the things you were manifesting, the rewards, the recognition, the honor, the, the return on your investments, um, success, and of course the fun and the, the discovery and adventure, all that good stuff. It may be, maybe it was overrated to have it in that season. And the way that we're about to have it now, like how you have uh, post-summer fun that's at a discounted rate and less crowds and all that good stuff. It's like we're having our own, um, ooh, the term is um, our own, what are they, what's that term with menopause? Like your own private summer? Yeah, that's what it is. It's like having your own private summer. like. What, what's about to be experienced in the season of, ahead is gonna feel like it's been especially made and uh, crafted for you in the most unsuspecting time in the most unexpected ways. That's what I'm trying to get to, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, but anyway, thank you for listening um, for as long as you have. I hope if nothing else, like you're just feeling like the SMR of the crash of the waves and the breeze and even the sun, if I can get it in the frame. Where is it? Uh, uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> the sun, of course, I look, I, you can't really see me well if I go, if I face it, but I hope that this energy is transmittable to you, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, let it be cleansing, let it be clearing, let it be confirmative, uh, confirming, um, and let it also be energizing, you know, again, because we're closing the season, but we're certainly gearing up for what's more in store ahead. And I, I have a feeling that it's going to be even better than what I could have even conjured up to have for myself at the prime time of summer when it would have made the most sense. It's going to be even better than what I could have created for myself in my own, at my own hand and in my own timing. So thanks be to the most high, the creator of all, the universe, and all heavenly hosts that conspire in my favor and your favor and our favor for that truth. It is so, and so it is. All right, so thank you for um, checking in with me. Um, thank you for your um, 
connection all throughout this past week. And I'm looking forward to connecting again and speaking with you on Monday. And hopefully I'll be bringing this refreshed and revived energy to that table at that time. Here's hoping. <laughs> All right, so I'll talk to you later. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace.